Yo guys, before we get into today's video, I want to give a massive shout out to AOA.com for sponsoring this video. AOA is an awesome multi-platform site where you can buy yourself some cheap keys, crates and items. Use the code EJU for 3% discount and check out. The link will be in the description. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here bringing another Rocket League video. And in today's video, oh wait a second guys, you seen the title, you know what's coming, we've got to go back to the future. That's right guys, today we are going back to the future in Rocket League, so what we're going to be doing today guys is... We're going to be going back all the way to the first crate of the CC1 crate and opening five of every single crate from the CC crate all the way up to the most recent crate, which I'm going to go up to uh, the elevation crate. Guys, I'm going to leave these new crates out. Unfortunately, we've got the new animation to uh, bear with. But yeah, guys, so we're going to be going way back. Now, some of these crates I've definitely opened before. And some I've only opened one or two ever, like the CC1, 2, 3, and 4. All crates that were out before like I Like literally before like I even started playing Rocket League. I started getting into Rocket League guys around the time of um, The Nitro crates so around season 6. So I'm pretty hyped for this today guys So we're gonna be opening five of each crate um, And I'll be going through every single crate in order. So we are now back in time guys Are we gonna be starting with the uh, the first crate that ever came out the CC1 crate which came out on September 8th of 2016 it came out the same day as the cc2 but we're gonna start off guys with the cc1 crate with five of these bad boys now um so we'll have a quick look what you can get in there's a bunch of rare decals uh very rares the chakrams were originally in this the dominus gt the takumi uh the photons the uh loopers and you can also either get a heat wave slipstream parallax or labyrinth so yeah guys uh, let's go back to the future show I should say and let's see how five of the CC ones goes. Let's go Okay, it's gonna be a rear decal and it is a breakout decal Ooh, another rare. You know, it, especially these crates are like Retired now, so if you pull something really nice, it can be worth quite a lot now. Like strike items in this crate are really good. Oh, exotic! Here we go! Come on! Okay, we got some photons. I'll take it. That's not too bad. We got ourselves some nice photon wheels, unpainted, unfortunately though. But an exotic is not too bad whatsoever. Okay, an import. Let's see. Okay, we got ourselves a Takumi RXT and the final CC1 crate. The first crate ever released in Rocket League, and we get ourselves a rare uh, Breakout Vice decal. Okay guys, so now onto the CC2 crate which came out on exactly the same date, September 8th of 2016. Dragon Lord was originally in this crate. Uh, the Merc Warlock, you can get the X-Devil 2, the Roadhog XL. Uh, the Volatic, which when it first came out was called the Lightning Wheel. The Lobos, aka the Crimson Lobos. Uh, Heatwave, Slipstream, Parallax, and Labyrinth. So let's see how we go with these five, shall we? Let's go. There's going to be some awesome crates we're going to be doing. Like some of the... Oh, here we go, an exotic! Crimson Lobos! There you go. With the... an Another exotic wheel, unfortunately unpainted. But yo, if you guys have been Rocket League for a long time, you will get that pun 100%. Alright, four of these bad boys to go. Let's go. Okay, it's going to be a very rare... And it is a polygonal boost. Alright, three to go. Come on. Okay, I'll take an import. Import's alright. Ah, we get a pixel uh, fire certified. Rare decal or something coming up. Ah, the Merc Narwhal. Okie dokie. Uh, last one of the CC2s. Here we go. It looks like it's going to be a rare decal, guys. Oh, Roadhog Carbonated. I've never actually had that on a car. I never knew that it was an animated decal. Okay, guys. Okay, so obviously uh, the next crate is going to be the CC3 crates. This came in a little bit out 
a little bit later, guys, on October 4th of 2016. So, you got uh, a few of the decals. Uh, the Troikas were in this. A few of the uh, the boosts. You got the pulses and the discotheques. And you basically got the same black markets, guys. So let's see how we go with the 5 CC3s. Let's go. We're slowly making our way back to the future. Alright, looks like it's going to be a rare. It is a uh, Mondo decal for the Dominus. Another rare. Can we pull at least one black market or mystery or something? There's going to be a lot of crates that don't even have black markets in it. Alright, let's go. Come on. Okay, an import. Nice. So far, we've pulled an import every time. Uh, we, we've got two more to at least uh, to say that we've got an exotic every time. So can we get an exotic in the next two crates? Okay, another import. We get ourselves a certified dark matter. And the final one of the CC3s, guys, is... Oakley Doakley. Uh, the Hypernova, guys. So, yeah. We get the Hypernova. So, another import from there. Now, technically, guys, the next crate that came out was the Player's Choice crate. But it's been completely changed up. So, I'm going to skip that. But the first uh, PCC crate that first came out had, like, vaults and everything in it way back in the day. So... Unfortunately, it's changed now, so we're going to skip that one. So the next crate that did come out, guys, was the Turbo Crate, which came out on the March 22nd of 2017. So we're going to open five Turbos. Quick look, uh, the original crate that had Octane Griffin, the Endo, the Roulette, and the Kalos, and some of the um, BMDs, guys. So yeah, let's go. Five of these. Here's number one. Another import. We're getting imports today. Oh, flurry uh, paint finish. Okay, nice. Uh, if I'm counting a lot, it's just because I don't want to lose track because I've got like heaps of the crates. All right, a very rare for our second one, and that is going to be a snake skin certified. Free to go. Don't want to lose track of counting. Another import. Wow. And it is a. Oh, just a plain endo. Nice. Okie dokie. Two to go. Very rare. What are we going to get? Another uh, Octane Snake Skin. I've probably got like a lot of these mixed around, so I'll definitely be able to do some trade-ups. All right, last one of uh, the Turbo Crates, guys, until we move on to the next one that came out. And we finish up with a very rare Xeno Splash. All right, guys, so the next crate that did come out after the Turbo Crate, guys, was the crate where I first started, the Nitro Crate, which is probably my favorite crate of all time. Uh, quick story guys with the, the nitro crate the first time I ever did an opening I opened 40 of them I got titanium white triplex and titanium white draco. I've highlighted it many times on my channel I went insane, but yeah, obviously Draco's k2s and a bunch of uh, mysteries and that here absolute awesome crate So let's get into these five bad boys shall we? Yo, if I get any luck, it's a good chance it could be on this crate We've had some memories and another import nice and it's gonna be a neothermal. I'll take it Good old Nitro Crate. Another import. And it's a non-painted Mantis. Where's that yellow, guys? Where's that yellow? Okay, rare decal. Okay, two more of these, guys. Let's see how we go. Rare decal by the looks of it. And it's going to be a... Regular Octane Buzzkill. I remember those back in the day. I'm a beer bumblebee. Used to drive me crazy. All right, last one of the Nitros, guys. Which I can't remember if I told you guys came out on May 10th of 2017. And we end with a rare decal to Kumi Paint. It looks like sky blue, guys. All right, so the next crate that came out, guys, was the Overdrive crate, which came out on July 5th of 2017, guys. So where is the Overdrive here? So... Uh, the Overdrive had original The Lone Wolf in it, the SLK, the Animus, the Sentio, the Turbine, the Fidget Spinners, and when the first Gold Explosion came out, guys. So yeah, five of these bad boys. Let's see how we go with the Overdrive. Let's go. We're starting off with a very rare Friction Trail. Next one. Can we pull at least one mystery or like a painted exotic and I'll be happy. That's two. Laser trail. A lot of trails in this one. Rare decal. It's just the certified lone wolf. 
two to go on the turbo anyway we're coming up to my favorite one of my favorite crates of all time very soon which you'll be very surprised to hear what it is and i'm really really looking forward to it. but all right last one of these guys here we go i'm pretty sure this was the last one hopefully i didn't uh lose track of how many uh and that is the certified friction i think i opened five of them uh, let me just quickly double check that if i go to um most recent items uh so we got one yeah i, I think we've got two light speeds that looks about right i think we got about five if i miss one a slight rip to the dream but yeah i think i got all of those guys so yeah the next one what came out guys was the accelerator crate I had some pretty good luck with this. Um, I remember I got a titanium white uh, Jaeger when it first came out and sold it for like 12 key. Um, the Painted Clockworks and Chrono is a great wheel. And I remember when, yeah, Party Time and um, Popcorn when they're like 40, 50 keys when they first came out. That's insane, isn't it, when you hear, when you're listening to like that. All right, we've got five of these guys. So we're at 93. So I know when we're at uh, 88 to stop. So let's go. Can we get anything from the accelerator crates? Okay, it's gonna be a rare but yeah these are uh, okay painted uh, mantis critters decal so these are uh, crate the accelerator crate came out on the 28th of September guys of 2017 okay, it's gonna be a very rare oh certified lightning trail nice I sort of forgot that exists here we go third one yo it's been a little while since we've had some yellow okay an import what are we gonna get here Okay, a certified Jaeger. Nice. All right, two to go. Come on. My favorite crates next, guys. Like, you'd be very surprised to see what it actually is. Rare decal. And the last one for the accelerator, guys, is... Going to be a rare by the looks of it. It is a painted lime Dominus splatter decal. All right, guys. So next coming up is the Haunted Hallows crate, which I love this crate. Are You guys are going to be like, why? There's not much in it. Uh, I love the Revenant, the Grimlikins, the Reaper, the Re uh, sorry, not the Reaper, but the Cauldron Wheels. Uh, the Dominus Afterlife, Thanos, and Mantis um, decals are my favorite decals in the game, and some of them are worth an absolute fortune. So, the hearts pumping a little bit here with these five opening. Any striker item from this crate now to the collector is worth a lot of um, coin. That's what I can say, or key, so to say. But these came out on October 16th for 2017, which sounds pretty crazy when I say that. All right, guys, with five of these, let's go. All right. Yo, it's been ages since I've opened one of these. I haven't opened sipped one of these in a long time. All right, rare decal. And it is a breakout stitches decal. Probably the one thing I didn't want. I'll take any striker paid in Nance's decal. Okay, a regular Dominus Afterlife. Another rare decal. What is it? Widow's Web Unpainted. Who to go? Really want something here. Come on. Hmm. So that's... Yo. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Pink Painted Thanos. I'm very... um Or Thanatos. Or sorry, if that's how you want me to pronounce it. I'm happy with that. I just noticed, guys, there's no exotic in this crate, but yellow exotic still flashes. How strange is that, guys? All right, last one of the Haunted Hallows. Wish me luck on the last one of my, probably my favorite crates of all time. It's going to be a rare decal, but if it's painted, it'll be good. And unfortunately, it's a certified stitches decal. But yeah, um, so it still flashes yellow, even if you got that one. All right, guys, so the next crate that came out was the Velocity crate, which I had a lot of luck uh, with when this first came out. So this has got the Imperator DT5 car, Equalizers, Hikari, and it did have Dueling Dragons, which I created like three of these when they first came out. But yeah, uh, I'd love to get a Dueling Dragons. It's quite rising lately. So let's see how we go with these five. Let's go. Starting on 44, so we know to go down to 39. All right, we start off with a rare. Okay, Octane Slimline Crimson, I'll take that. That's not too bad, people like them. Okay, it's going to be a very rare, and it is a zigzag trail. Three to go. Anad oh, Anadise. I haven't had one of them for ages. All right, two to go. Not the best of crate luck so far with these old crates. Okay, very rare. What's going to happen here? Okay, the Mantis Snakeskin. All right, last one for the Velocity, guys. Wish me luck. Come on. 
and it's going to be a rare decal, and it's a Animus decal rare for the Animus. So far, we're not having the best of luck with these old crates, but uh, I'm still having a, a ton of fun with it. Uh, okay, guys, so um, I just realized I accidentally missed the bloody CC4 crates, which came out on December 7th. Of 2016 I don't know how I missed them to be honest so that was a slight route to the dream so we are now going back back before we go back to the future so to say maybe um, um something special could happen like white zombies or something now but I, I don't even know how I went past them I think I got mixed up with the player choice craze but yeah we're going back into the um, past then guys with uh, December 7th with the uh, five CC4s all right wish me luck on the CC4s something biggie could be nice Okay, Octane Roadkill. I don't even know how the hell I missed that, to be honest. I apologize. Mistakes can sometimes be made. Yo, the gizmo decal. Wow. I can't count. EJ can't count to five because he skips four. All right, two to go on the CC4s. Can we pull an exotic painted Zomba? Okay, Octane Kilowatt certified. Striker would be nice. You can. I usually used to be able to sell that decal for like a key. So, okay, an import. What's it going to be? Some certified FSLs. Okie dokie, guys. So we are now going to go back to the future once again, guys. And we are going to go to the next crate that came out, which was the Secret Santa crate, guys. Uh, which came out on December 11th of 2017. I can't remember if I told you. Um what date the velocity came out but it came on out on December 4th of 2017 oh uh, I'm just like so wound up in like the nostalgia right now that I don't even know what I'm saying to be honest all right guys here we go so we've got five of the secret sanders and let's see how we go some painted wonderments or something here would be nice all right it's gonna be very rare peppermints at all okay a certified yuletide gonna be a rare what's it gonna be Okay, cold front for the Mantis. This uses a lot of keys as well, but I've got a fair few keys lately. It's going to be another rare by the looks of it, guys. And it is a Crimson Holiday Deco. Two to go on the Secret Santas. And we get a Burnt Sienna Christmas Tree. And the last one, guys, for the Secret Santas is... A candy cane trail good old secret Santa crate all right guys so we're moving on to the next crate that came out which was the victory crate which came out on February 7th of 2018 which had the werewolf the infinians of Balakara chameleon stormwatch and trigon I had some pretty good luck I remember I pulled chameleon and a couple I think like three trigons when it first came out so we just need to go down to 50 crates five of these and let's see if we can pull one BMD or something come on Okay, looks like we got some uh, lime. I think nippers, maybe saffron. I'm gonna go with lime for those. It's hard to pull good stuff from these old crates, but uh, it's a little bit of fun going back in time and just opening them and seeing what's in them again. And that it's a lot of crates to burn, uh, keys, sorry, to waste, but um, it's for your entertainment. I'm having fun, and I hope you guys are enjoying the video. All right, last two of the victories. I don't know where EJ's crate like is. It must be uh, it must be just with the newer crates, the PCCs and that. Oh come on, painted! Nice! Let's go! We get our first painted exotic guys. We get some lime and finians on our last um victory crate, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. So we get our first painted exotic, lime and finians from the original victory crate. Pretty hyped with that. Right here, guys, so the next crate that came out was the uh, Spring Fever crate that came out, guys, on March 19th of the, uh, 2018. Now, it's got the Illuminatas and stuff, which are worth quite a lot. I'd actually just completed that set the other day, guys. Uh, so, yeah, it's a striker of these are worth an absolute fortune. So, if I get a striker painted one of them, I'll be laughing. All right, we've got five of these, so we go down to 70, and let's go. Wish me luck on the Spring Fever crates. Going to be a very rare... Oh, Crimson Donut Eater. I forgot about this banner. It's a great banner and it's crimson. I like that. Nice. I'll take it. Let's go. No, I'm, I'm very happy with that, actually. It's pretty cool. 
It scared me for a second how it popped up so quick. All right, we got a pink certified decal for the Dominus. Three more of these bad boys. I sort of. I think we're going to change my mind, guys, and go all the way up. I'm going to do five um, PCCs at the end as well. Why not? All right, two to go for these guys. Let's go. And we get a rare decal for the Sentio. And the last of the Spring Fevers. Wish me luck. It's blue. And it's a purple painted Sentio decal, guys. So, not too much luck on the Spring Fever crate. Which came out on March 19th of this year. It's probably one of the worst crates ever made in the game. Alright, guys. So, the next crate that came out, guys was the Triumph Crate, which came out on April 3rd of 2018, which was an amazingly good crate. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this is when Dissolver first came out. I made some of the best videos I ever made on my channel, the best profit ever. A lot of you guys might have found my channel from the Dissolver trades. I traded for White Hypnotics and everything. Uh, so yeah, I've got a special bomb with this crate, so we'll go down to 21, so open up five of these, and wish me good luck on the Triumphs. We could pull the Dissolver, you never know. But we're starting off with a red uh, Jaeger decal, guys. What shall be next? Import. What are we going to get for import, guys? Samurai. My my video is literally premiering in like seven minutes. So hopefully I can get through this video very quickly so I can be there with a the premiere with you guys. Which you would have already watched when this video comes in. Yeah. Alright. Three more to go, guys. Let's go. Okay, we have a rare Animus decal. Wow, guys! And my game has crashed blue screen. Oakley Doakley, rightio. Uh, so Rocket League is absolutely broken lately, guys. So um, we need to re-log in. I'm not even going to cut this, guys. This is absolutely insane. The get This just shows you how broken the game is lately, guys. My game just broke for opening too much old crates. It wants me to go back to the future as in restarting the game or something. That is crazy, guys. I don't even know what to say. That is insane. All right, guys. So we are back to the future once again. And we need to continue opening those crates. Okay, it looks like we got an Animus Rose King from that crate. We were on the Triumphs, guys. And we have two more to open. Oh, my days. This game is broken. All right, let's go, guys. Two more of these. Going to be a rare decal. And it is a Octane Royal Tyrant decal. And the last one for the Triumphs, guys, is... It's going to be a rare... The uh, Painted Rare decal. Alright, guys. Trying to speed this up a little bit. The next one, guys... If I didn't tell you that came out on April 3rd, the next one was the Impact Crate that came out on the 29th, guys, of March of 2018. There's a bunch of stuff in it, like the Santa Fe's, the Centro's, Juice, Atomizer... My stupid phone alarm is going off because I set it so I'd be awake for my video, which is about to start very soon. So we'll turn that sound off and let's get into these five impacts. Let's go. Come on. I might be a little late to my premiere, but I'll see you there. All right, we get a rare certified decal. Yeah, guys, if you didn't know, I got sponsored by AR, so I'm going to grind out a ton of Rocket League videos um, and see how we go. All right, so three more of these bad boys to go with the impact crate. Oh, migraine. Okay, two more to go. Until we get to another pretty crappy crate coming up. But there's some rare stuff in it coming up. We get a Sentio. And the last one for the impact, guys, is... A rare decal for the Dominus. Alright, guys, so the next crate that came out was the Beach Blast crate, which is probably one of the worst crates ever created. Um, but not Spring Fever, wrong crate there. Beach Blast looks the same. I uh, see so you got the Octane Island King, the Cruxes. I still need Pink Sovereigns. If I pink, full Pink Sovereigns, I'll be hyped for days. Alright, so five of these guys. These came out on June 11th um, of 2018. So let's go, guys, with five of these Beach Blasts. Let's go. Come on. Something Striker, Peter Wheel, something these will be good. Okay, we get a Circuit Board Decal. Sorry, not decal banner, guys. Losing the plot here. Another very rare. Another circuit board. Okie dokie. Gonna be a rare decal. Rare decal. Alright, two to go. Come on. 
I haven't had the best crate of luck, but I've had a lot of fun opening all these old things and seeing some of these old stuff. Oh, certified Quimby's. I thought they might have been painted then. Alright, last one, guys. Let's go. Okay, it's going to be an import. What's it going to be? Oh, painted certified. Looks like Burn Sea and a Sunray. Alright, I'll take that. Not too bad, guys. Alright, so the next crate that came out was the Golden Egg, but I'm not opening them, guys. So, I'm just doing, like, the actual hard crates. So... Uh, the next thing that would have came out was the Zephyr Crate that came out on July 30th for 2018. This has the Dynamos, the Reactors, Fire God, and the first time mainframe come out. So yeah, let's see how we go guys with five of these. Starting off with the first one. No BMDs yet. We've only got one painted exotic. Alright, let's go. One. Okay, an import. What's it going to be? It is going to be a certified virtual wave. Here comes the third one, guys. The very rare, Mrs. Avocado. Number four. Let's go. Come on. And it is a rare, painted, certified, grey decal for the Jaeger. And the last one for the Zephyr crates, guys, before we move on to our second to last crate. Oh, exotic. Can it be painted, guys? Oh, unlucky. We got some normal reactors, but I'll still take it. Not bad. Some normal reactors there on the last one of the Zephyr crates that came out on July 30th. Alright, guys. Our second to last crate was the Elevation crate that came out on September 5th. Um, no, it didn't. Sorry. Oh, it came out on October 8th. Sorry, guys. Uh, so this has got the Yamains, the Nimbus, the Finny. So this is relatively new still. You can still pull the paint of wet paint or mainframe or anything. So let's go with five of these bad boys. Let's go. Ooh, see that visual glitch then for a second. Starting with a very rare, guys. And it's going to be a breakout decal. Number two. Let's go. All right, import time. What are we going to get? Some regular finnies. Number three. Come on. Uh, we get, guys, some regular Yamains. Okay, this is number four, I think. Rip. And the last one for the elevation, guys, before we get into the last five. It's going to be a rare decal, guys, and it is the Veneman Retro Sun. Right here, guys, so the last five crates, we're back into the future now. It's going to be five PCCs. This is the most up-to-date five PCC crates. I've had a lot of luck with these, and can we finish on a good note with these five? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Import. Okay, what's it going to be? A regular certified Twinza. Alright, come on. Come on, painted! Oh, damn it. Unpainted Draco's on our second one. Unlucky. We've got a few unpainted exotics, but... Go, come on, any any more luck? Import? Okay, I'll take it. What's it going to be? Oh, nice! Crimson Certified Jaeger. Not bad. Two more of these bad boys to go. Let's go. It's going to be a rare decal. And the final one, guys, until we're fully into the future. It's going to be a very rare. So we finish off with some normal Gaidens, guys. So, yeah, uh, we'll have a quick run over with what we've got. Uh, so we end up with like a bunch of rares, the Crimson Guardian. We didn't really end up with much absolutely amazing stuff, but I did have a ton of fun with that, guys. I got some Lime and Finian, some Saffron Nippers, a bunch of painted decals and a few miscellaneous things that I probably could trade up. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun doing that, going back to the past, back to the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, peace out, EJ's out, and I'll catch us later. See you.